Scientists have estimated that around two-thirds of our planet is overwhelmed by water. Even so, most of this water is unusable to humans because it's salt water. It's been said that of this large amount of water, more than 97% of it is salt water. Humans have done their best to try to better understand the oceans around us for decades, but there's simply so much water out there that we may never fully explore the ocean. We've managed to visit some of the deepest and most remote areas of the ocean, but even in doing so, we don't know much about the underwater inhabitants who live there. In more recent years, scientists and marine biologists have done their best to create a list of animals that we believe are living in the ocean. They've also found fossils for countless animals that are estimated to have lived there thousands of years ago. Many of these animals are now believed to have died off, however, this may not be the case. As the years pass by, more and more seafarers have told stories of encounters with animals that were previously believed to have gone extinct. One of these creatures is the giant megalodon. For anyone who may be unfamiliar with the megalodon, this was an incredibly large shark that would dwarf any shark that exists today. If you've ever seen a great white shark at a zoo or in some form of enclosure, you'll know that this breed of shark is already terrifyingly huge. However, the great white doesn't even hold a candle to the magnitude and size of a megalodon. The megalodon is estimated to have lived several million years ago, and they would have measured more than 20 meters long. If you were to find a scale large enough to fit one of these monsters, they're estimated to have weighed around 60 tons. This gigantic underwater creature taught its prey the very definition of fear when they roamed the oceans in large quantities many years ago. These days, the giant megalodon is believed to be extinct. However, this may not be entirely true, as you will soon learn. With that said, let's take a look at some of the evidence that may prove that the giant megalodon shark is still out there, swimming around in our oceans all these years later. But before we dive in, make sure you hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end if you want to learn everything there is to know about this large, fearsome creature. Has the German Navy found a megalodon? The idea that there may be a large megalodon living in the waters of the ocean is not a new one. In fact, many people have been claiming for decades to have encountered one of these large sea creatures. Because of this, both sides have argued for and against the idea that a megalodon may still exist in the wild. This idea was first brought to the masses a few years ago when the Discovery Channel released a documentary that followed the many details that surround some of these megalodon shark sightings. This documentary fueled many theories about the megalodon shark, presenting viewers with several pieces of video and photo evidence to support the claim that these sharks may May still exist. One of the most interesting pieces of information that was presented was in the form of a photograph. The photo was taken many years ago and made the rounds several decades ago, causing many people to believe that these sharks are still out there. It was taken long before the generation of Photoshop and photo editing software. As researchers would soon learn, the photo dates back all the way to December of 1942, taking us back to World War II. Researchers found the source of the image and revealed that the photo was allegedly captured by a German submarine crew who were in the midst of a military mission. According to the person who handed over the photograph, the German crew spotted the giant creature and snapped a photo so that they could prove what they saw that day. According to the photographer, the image was captured off the coast of Cape Town when they saw this incredible beast. But is this photo really what it appears to be? Researchers carefully examined the image and came to the conclusion that the fins that can be seen in the image are estimated to be around 20 meters apart, meaning that this was truly a giant sea creature. 
However, as researchers would soon discover, this photo was nothing more than a brazen forgery. To prove that the image was fake, they looked back at military accounts from the time and determined that the German Navy would not have been in the proximity of Cape Town at the time that a photo like this would have been captured. In fact, the German Navy wouldn't have even been close to this area, nor is there evidence that they ever ventured this far at any point in their military missions in December of 1942. Because of this, we now know that the claims of the photo being taken near Cape Town are untrue. But does that mean that the photo itself is fake as well? Photography experts took it upon themselves to further analyze the image. Upon closer inspection, they noticed something that evaded the eyes of nearly everyone who had witnessed the photo up to this point. These experts pointed out that there were no waves that appeared to be crashing on the fins of this supposed creature. If an animal this large was actually swimming through the ocean this close to the top of the water, obvious waves would have been seen crashing on the fins and dancing around the creature. However, no such waves exist in this photo. There's also another aspect of the image that most people seem to have overlooked. Take a look at the expression on the faces of these German soldiers, and you'll see that none of them appear to be scared of whatever it is that they're witnessing. Don't you think that if a group of men on a submarine out in the middle of the ocean had just come across a megalodon, that they would be fearful? Apparently not, if this image is to be believed. This evidence should be more than enough to prove that the image is fake. However, some believers claim that this wasn't enough to disprove the image. With that in mind, we have to entertain the idea that the photo could be genuine, while also acknowledging that the image could simply be depicting two separate ocean dwellers who are swimming approximately 20 meters apart. If this is true, it may help to explain why there are no large waves surrounding the fins. With this in mind, let us know what you think. Does this look like it could be evidence of a giant megalodon to you? Or do you feel that this photo is nothing more than a forgery? Crab Boat Sees a Megalodon while the German soldiers in the image we just looked at may not have had any idea of what they were witnessing in the wild, there's another case of a group of seafarers who seem to be utterly certain that they witnessed a megalodon shark while they were out on their crab boat one day. An Australian marine researcher known as David Stead dedicated his time to uncovering the truth about the megalodon shark after he heard about the story of the previously mentioned crab boat and how each of the men relayed the exact same information to investigators, proving that their stories are indeed true. However, regardless of how truthful the men may have been, is it really possible that they witnessed a prehistoric creature swimming in the open waters? David spoke to a series of fishermen who were aboard this boat when the event occurred back in the 1980s. According to the men, they had been spending the day fishing for crabs. They had released several nets and anchors into the water and firmly set up their camp for the fishing that was about to take place. The men had been traveling around Broughton Island when they claimed to have witnessed a creature larger than anything they'd ever seen. According to the men, the proportions of this creature put their crab boat to shame. The animal is said to have swum directly next to their boat and, even without trying, ripped apart all of their fishing gear. The creature destroyed their traps, known as crab pots, and these traps are estimated to have been one and a half meters in size. For an animal to brush against these traps and destroy them without even trying, is truly terrifying and really puts into perspective the size of this creature. The men each believe that the animal was a shark. They said that there's no doubting what they saw that day. These are men who had been spending the last several years of their lives traveling at sea, so they would have certainly known what it was that they were witnessing. One expert suggested that rather than a shark, the men could have witnessed a large whale on that fateful day. However, none of the fishermen agree with this analysis. They are each insistent that what they witnessed was the largest shark ever recorded. 
They say that the shark would have been around 35 meters long. According to one of the men, the head of this creature would have been larger than a shed, which fits perfectly in line with other megalodon sightings and megalodon fossils that have been found over the years. The men claim that the skin of the creature was a bright white color. However, this information has led many investigators to question whether or not this would have been a shark at all. According to one expert, Ben Roche, there's no way the skin of a megalodon would be white. We don't know the specifics of why experts say this, but most experts agree that the skin of a megalodon would almost certainly be gray. From the best information that can be found online, the reasoning behind this is because if there is a megalodon out there somewhere, it's unlikely there would be a second one for the creature to be able to breed and create more megalodon sharks. With this in mind, if there is a megalodon out there, it would have likely been swimming around in the ocean for thousands of years, meaning its skin would have begun to darken with age, making it appear to be either gray or black by this point in history. So what did these men witness on that fateful day all those years ago? We may never truly know. Could Megalodon Sharks Have Survived in the Sea? After hearing these stories, we must ask ourselves one thing. Is it possible that a Megalodon has lived in the wild for thousands of years? To reflect on what we just mentioned a moment ago, if a Megalodon were to be found in the wild, it would have needed to adapt to our ever-changing environment time and time again in order to survive. There's also the fact that these sharks, like all other living creatures, must have a limited lifespan. Knowing that this is true, it would have to mean that if there's one Megalodon in the wild, Wild, there would have to be others. After all, no living creature could possibly live for thousands and thousands of years. Or could it? We really can't be too sure. One piece of information that may help to prove that a megalodon could have lived in the wild for all this time was the famous discovery of a coelacanth that was found by a team of South African fishermen. Before this, experts believed that this creature had gone extinct more than 65 million years ago, though this discovery turned that theory on its head. The same principle will apply to the megalodon. While these creatures may have existed in abundance millions of years ago, there's a chance that a few stray megalodons may still exist today. Even now, after all these years of searching, all we've managed to find from these fearsome creatures are a few stray bones, teeth, and other body parts. We've never found a fully preserved specimen. This means that all the information we've gathered and the estimates that scientists and researchers have made are nothing but guesses. It's certainly possible these creatures have remained in the oceans for thousands of years. Keep in mind that the goblin shark is a prime example of a creature that learned to adapt over time. This shark now uses electrical impulses to search for food, as predators force the shark to begin searching for resources in the bottom of the ocean farther than in shallower areas. Because of this, the shark was forced to come up with new means of hunting in order to survive and it did so without fault. If this is true, it's possible the Megalodon could have suffered the same fate. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments, do you believe that Megalodon sharks are still out in the wild, or do you think they're extinct? If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with all our future videos. That's all for now. We'll catch you guys next time.